हेलो एवरीबॉडी दिस इज विनायक एंड वेलकम बैक टू चैनल वॉक्स फॉर लाइफ टाइम वेयर वी सिंप्लीफाई टेक फॉर यू ब्रॉट टू यू बाय वॉक्स फॉर डॉट कॉम योर ट्रस्टेड पार्टनर फॉर लाइफ टाइम ई पी एस डेडिकेटेड सर्विस मैनेज वर्ड प्रेस एंड मोर टूडे वी आर वॉकिंग यू थ्रू हाउ टू होस्ट अ वेबसाइट ऑन वी पी एस विदाउट यूजिंग अ कंट्रोल पैनल ऑल विद द पावर ऑफ इंजिनिक्स If you are ready to embrace full control over your hosting environment, let's dive in. Hosting without a control panel gives you greater flexibility, better performance and lower resource usage on your VPS. While it requires some technical knowledge, it's a essential skill for developers and system administrators looking to optimize their hosting environment. plus with tools like nginx the process is straightforward once you understand the steps to start our tutorial grab the ssh credentials for your vps and initiate ssh connection to your vps once connected to our vps console type sudo apt update or sudo apt update to update the repositories once the update is processed we will also upgrade our repositories if you want to uh, update and upgrade your repositories in a single command use sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade space hyphen y i will copy this command go back to my terminal paste it and press enter it may take some time go ahead and install nginx by doing sudo apt install nginx and curl i will copy the command present in our blog paste it in our terminal and press enter this command will install nginx curl git and other basic requirements for setting up a web server nginx and curl are now set up on a server next step is to configure domain name we can configure a domain name by our dns settings while going for cloudflare or into the dns records present with your registrar and creating a a record with host name as at the rate if you want to create a website on your root domain the value should be your vps ip to create a website directory we will use mkdir command along with hyphen p go to terminal paste it and press enter your domain.com is referred to my domain name you can customize it as per your requirements because they will be only a internal reference where your files are present next we want to set up the proper permissions for the directory use the commands sudo chown space hyphen r along with directory now do a ch mod to change permissions paste it and press enter create a simple index file to test if our directory is working to create a file use nano command along with directory of your websites go back to terminal paste it and press enter type html code our test web page is ready exit nano editor by typing control x then y and enter you can also use demo snippet on our blog configure nginx to respond to website requests go to our terminal and use the nano command while creating a nginx configuration instead of your domain.com type name of your domain paste the snippet for configuration of your domains according to this configuration our nginx server will listen on port 80 default port for http our server name shall be default and replace your domain.com with name of website or domain you own along with a www of your domain if it exists after you have made the changes 
to configuration of nginx press ctrl x y and then enter to save the configuration after saving the configuration create a symbolic link for our sites enabled directory we have already did a tutorial on symbolic links you can go check it out copy go to my terminal paste it a symbolic link is now created to verify if our nginx configuration is correct use the sudo nginx space hyphen t command proceed to our terminal and type sudo nginx hyphen t the configuration is successful restart nginx by doing sudo systemctl restart nginx now we will set up firewall rules to allow nginx ports this is required in order to let the users or public connect to our website on vps ufw will be used to allowing the firewall copy it go to the terminal paste it the rules for nginx such as port 80 and port 443 are now open to secure your website using uh, ssl short form for secure socket layer use let's encrypt or another methods available in the market we will install certbot by using sudo apt install certbot once certbot is installed we will request let's encrypt to issue a certificate we will type sudo certbot space hyphen hyphen nginx space hyphen d after d use our domain name and if there is a secondary domain name we will use it as well replace your domain with my domain name that is vinayak dot works for dot com once this is done press enter certbot will now issue a certificate while asking for our basic information such as email address we will enter email we will hit y to accept the terms and condition for issuing a ssl a certificate will be requested now for our website vinayak.voxfor.com the certificate has been successfully received and deployed on our website to renew the certificates automatically use cron jobs go to the cron job by typing sudo cron tab hyphen e press 1 to use nano the easiest nan file editor in linux add the cron job present in our blog hit control x and y with enter to save our website setup is successful to visit my website i will go to my browser and type vinayak dot box for dot com test page is currently deployed with a ssl certificate conclusion congratulations you have successfully hosted a website on your vps using nginx without a control panel this setup gives you full control and flexibility for your hosting needs if this tutorial was helpful don't forget to like subscribe and share Check out our blog linked in the description for detailed steps. And remember, for reliable VPS, dedicated servers, and managed WordPress hosting, visit voxfor.com. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.